students in our classrooms are excited. They make it easy for us to teach when they're excited about what they're learning. Every day you learn something new in this major, and that's what I love about it so much. Kinesiology is a broad uh, term that applies to human movement. The adaption to the movement, this includes muscles, tendons, bones, things in that nature. In one sense, it's in athletes and professional sports, and then the other sense, it's in the clinical side where we might be dealing with a patient who's had a stroke. In high school, I got an injury on my ACL, and I worked, I worked with a physical therapist getting back from that injury, and I loved it ever since. We have two tracks that the students can choose from. One is a clinical track, and one is a health fitness track. And this allows students to choose professional careers after their undergraduate degree if they're pursuing the clinical track because they can go on to physical therapy, occupational therapy, athletic training, and some of the clinical sciences and pursue those avenues. The other track is the health fitness track and that allows students to really choose if they want to go into a professional setting in terms of health fitness, be a personal trainer, work for a parks and recreation, Lots of different options in the Department of Kinesiology. This morning I did uh, CPR training. Last week I did a VO2 max test where you breathe into an open circuit spirometer and you breathe into it and it gives you back your VO2 ratings. We also have done a hand grip test to see how mus measuring muscular strength, muscular endurance. We did flexibility tests with the sit and reach box. And then we also did cardiorespiratory endurance with the one mile run. Our classroom sizes are small and students like that. They do like having a small classroom size and having uh, peers that they can work with as well as working right with the faculty. It's the family environment. I can walk to any building and any teacher can probably tell you my name right now. My favorite part about this university is the close-knit community from alumni to prospect, uh, prospective students. It's just one big knit family. I've lived in New York, so I'm used to the city life, so here in the countryside, it's really, really different. At first, I was very nervous um, coming from the city and then coming to the rural life. It's very different. I did get well-adjusted very quickly, so I'm really happy about that. And I think it was the fact that I can get that one-on-one -on -one connections with people here, and that's what really brought me to this school. Um, there's something called Freshman Seminar. I remember that class vividly because that class helps you get accustomed to the school. Um, teachers explain to you the library, where you can go if you need to talk to someone, the student help center, SDC tutoring, who to speak to. They actually was helpful for me because I came to the school college credits already, transferred from a different university, and they told me that you can speak to this person in the registrar's office so we can get those credits in here for you, and that's why I'm a little ahead now. I've only been here for two years, but I'm already a junior because they've been helping me out for so, so long. and. That class was really nice. By sophomore year, they're taking one or two exercise science classes each semester. The students need to be well-rounded, so they take science courses, uh, biology, chemistry, um, and physics if they're in the clinical track. And if they're in the health fitness track, they take accounting and other kinds of classes, uh, business classes. One of our classes is called Sports Medicine and First Aid, as I mentioned, and the students in that class um, are actually getting certified by the end of the course, and they learn the CPR and how to come to the aid of someone who needs it, but also they learn things about sport injuries and how to tape, so the students are going out with some practical skills. Not only do I want to have like a work in a clinical setting, but I also want to have my own uh, physical therapy place for injured athletes as well. I want to be a physical therapist. That is my passion. I think I just really want to be a physical therapist. I want to stay on the sports side. I want to own my own clinic and my own facility. And I want to help athletes the same way how I was helped. Certain ways they can treat something now, they wouldn't really have known how to treat it back then. I want to prevent that from happening. I want to be something that can say, oh, well, Dr. Mileto helped me reach this milestone in my career. So I'm always thankful for him. And that's something that I want to, I want to hear one of these days.